And uh, this is try two of this live video this morning. We've had some technical difficulties today. Um, in the office with me this morning is Danielle DeMarco. She is our mortgage professional. And the reason she's here today is because next week, the federal government is rolling out a new incentive for first-time home buyers. And it's called the First-Time Buyer Incentive Plan, right? Is that right? First-time home buyer incentive. Okay, great. So we're going to give you the skinny on what this means and, and how it can be used for you and if it's a good thing for you or not. So first of all, let's just let's talk about this program and exactly what is it. Yeah, so it's an incentive introduced by the government to hopefully spur the market, uh, you know, get a little bit of an uptake here in, in purchasing and in selling, uh, which could be a really good thing for Calgary. Um, it's a program where the government's going to match your down payment with some restrictions, obviously. Okay, so when you say match your down payment, so if I've got some money saved up, let's say I've got, you know, 5% saved up to put down a property, the government's going to give me 5% to use? Give is a loose term. There's always a cost to your money. However, yes, they will match your 5% uh, once you apply as long as you meet the qualifications for the program. Okay. Now, I heard that this is an interest-free loan, but you say that there are some you know, there's always going to be a payback, right? So is it an interest-free loan? Is that that deal? It is interest-free. Uh, what happens is, let's say you buy a house for $400,000, you've got your 5%, which is $20,000. The right. government matches your 5%, loans you to 20000 That gets registered on your title in the form of the second mortgage. Okay. Now, it's different than a loan in that it doesn't have any regular set repayment, and there is no interest on that loan. Uh, so the benefit there is it, it sits registered against your mortgage title, against title to your home, and when you sell your home, that loan is required to be paid back, or at the end of your 25-year amortization, whichever comes sooner. Okay, now um, talk to me about the government wanting to get some money out of this somehow. There's yeah. no way they're just giving us a free lunch here. So um, say your property is worth $400,000 when you buy it today. You go to sell it in 10, 20 years from now, and it's worth $500,000. Does the government get a share of that increase in property value? Yeah, so it is a shared equity program. Got so it. There, there does have to be a benefit to the government somewhere sure. in there. So there always has to be. Yeah. So uh, if, let's say the house is worth 400 and you put in your 5%, they match you, they give you $20,000. Right. 10 years down the road, it's worth 500000 5% that they loaned you of 500000 is now 25000 So you're going to have to pay the government back that $25,000 incentive instead of the twenty that they originally loaned. You. So talk to me about the downside then. So say we've been through a five-year cycle here where property values are down. If you bought in 2014, your house isn't worth anywhere near what it, is, it was then today. Um, what happens in a situation like that? Does the government still get their original 5% or do they participate in that downside? Too? They also participate in the downside. So they're not out to you know take something that's not theirs. Right. Uh, they'll do a fair, well you will as a, as a home buyer, do a fair market appraisal at the time of selling or sure. at the time of that 25-year amortization. If the value of your house has come down, you would owe back 5% of that fair market value over at the time you sell it at 25 years. Okay. So let's talk about some of the restrictions with this program too. So is there, is, can anybody that hasn't purchased a home before take part in this or is there a dollar value that, you know, a, a, an income level that they have to be in? Yeah. So I mean, it is designed obviously for first time home buyers. Sure. Uh, so you have to be a first time home buyer. The government, you know, classified, there's a few restrictions on that. One of which is obviously if you've never owned a home before, you qualify. Sure. Uh, if you have not owned, co-owned, or lived common law with somebody who owned the home in the last four years. Okay. And then recently they've added a new classification, which I think is a, a great idea. It's for uh, recently separated or recently divorced. Okay. So, you know, sometimes you're a little bit short on cash in those mm -hmm. moments, so mm -hmm. it's nice to have the government uh, match that down payment. So they kind of reset that if you've been divorced or separated with you, that you now become a first-time home buyer in there. Yeah, own. that is okay. new. So okay. that uh, effectively takes effect January of 2020 with CRA. However, the government is introducing this program has decided they're going to start offering it with the introduction of this program. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Uh, there are some other restrictions. Maximum household income is $120,000. And that's household, not individual, household income. Correct, Got yeah, it. yeah. Okay. So household has to be less than 120. Uh, that obviously is going to restrict, you know, what property you can qualify for. So, uh, you know, when we're talking about how much of the government's going to loan you, things like that, uh, we're looking, you know, $400,000-ish range, $500,000 range for, for price point. So that's kind of a safe bet. If you're buying that range, you could qualify for this program. Potentially, yeah. 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 Um, talk to me about uh, the payments that, that have, what kind of a difference is it going to make in some of these payments? So say they have an average $500,000 home. 
over the lifetime of the loan, how much A, how much money is this going to save them or help them with, and B, what is what do the payments look like every month? We've got to look at the little numbers. It sounds great, yes. but does it really make that much of a difference in your monthly payments? Obviously, depending on how much you spend and what your sure. mortgage loan is, um, you know, the benefits are typically, you know, when we were kind of doing the math, $60, $80 a month in benefits, but over the lifetime of your mortgage, you're talking a few thousand dollars. So it definitely it. adds up. Uh, some of the benefits would be also you save on your insurance premium. So if you're coming in with a 10% down payment, your insurance premium is calculated at the 10% down payment rate instead of the 5% sure. down payment rate. Sure. Lower loan amount, lower mortgage payments, less interest paid over 25 years. So definitely there's some added benefits. Okay, excellent. All right, so it's the first time homebuyers incentive plan. The government is bringing this out next week. We feel like it's uh, maybe another tool in the toolbox, but not necessarily something that people will be rushing out to use. Is that right? Yeah, I mean, there's definitely added benefits sure, for sure. And sure. if you can qualify and take advantage of it, why not? Uh, like I said before, the shared equity, you just have to be mindful of that, uh, depending on, on where the market goes. You know, borrowing 20 but paying back 25, there could potentially be a cost to the loan. Um, but, you know, monthly payment wise, things like that is a benefit. Definitely a tool in the toolbox, like you said. Not necessarily something I think that's going to trigger a mad rush for everybody to be buying in okay. 30 days versus today. Okay, but it could help. And so yes. to recap, on resale homes, it's 5% the government will match. New yes. homes, it's 10, correct? Correct, yeah. So on okay. new construction, they're trying to spur a little bit, you know, get sure. some of that inventory off the market. Like a lot of new, like this, the city is overbuilt. Yeah, the city so their goal is to kind of, okay, if we're going to match 10% possibly on new construction, then maybe sure. that would spur people to buy new construction versus ML system. Got it. Okay. Danielle DeMarco, our mortgage professional, talking about the new government First Time Home Buyers Incentive Plan, which starts next week. If you want some more details on it, we're, we're more than happy to chat with you about it. If you want to talk to Danielle, and if you qualify for it, you can give her a shout, or you can just get it through me too. Uh, actually, contact me directly, and I'll get you to Danielle. How does that sound? You can call me on my cell phone. It's 403-835-6338. Feel free to email me anytime, ken at krgroup.ca. Thanks so much for watching, and have yourself a fantastic Thursday. Danielle, thanks so much for coming in this morning. Yeah, thanks for having me. All right, take care. Have a good day.